definitely arrived, and so has the time-honored tradition of celebrating Oktoberfest, well, not Rogtoberfest. I know, <laughs> both are exactly. acceptable. The Connecticut Draft Horse Rescue is hosting a very special event where you can grab a pint and help animals in need. What's better? Can't beat that. Sarah Grote, the Vice President of Connecticut Draft Horse Rescue, is here to tell us all about it. Good morning, Sarah. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm glad to be here. We're Thanks. so glad to have you. You do such wonderful work. So thank you so much. I mean, we love, we love rescues, first of all. So um, tell, first of all, tell us a little bit about the, the rescue itself. Sure, we're located in East Hampton, Connecticut, mm -hmm. and um, we were uh, first formed by Dr. Stacy Golub, an equine vet, um, in 2011. And since that year, um, we've rescued almost 140 horses, wow. and the majority are in their uh, forever homes. Yes. So we have, I don't know, under 20 now, um, but it's been a very active adoptive process and fostering. and. We had some great rescues too. And the Aww. really awesome thing is people can support your organization and have, and have a great time. Tell us about this event coming up. Well, we're going to have over 20 local vendors. So we're going to have a bunch of mini shops. We're going to have CDHR retail items, including some new stuff that people haven't seen yet. You can meet the horses. And Isn't that so fun? It is so fun. And it's one thing to see them in a picture. It's another thing to be next to them. You touch kind of them, cuddle like, with them, yeah. the smell of the farm, yeah. go to bed. But it's um, <laughs> also a just a wonderful organization. Our volunteers are top notch, and we have um, just so many. Um, great moments yeah. with this organization. Well, you know, I think for a lot of people, because draft horses are, are they're big, <laughs> they're <huge>. right? <laughs> yeah. So oh, yes. I think maybe some people were like, oh, maybe it's a little scary, but they're not. They're, I always say, I grew up with horses. Horses are like big dogs, right? They just love you. <laughs> they are, and they are such, um, you know, kind of like Labradors in terms yeah. of their temperament. Right. The gentle giants, yes. the Clydes, the Pertrons, the Belgians, the big horses, but you know what? They're so Cool. Yeah, it's such sweet, like sweet nature. They and they love people. Absolutely, and especially kids. A lot of them love to follow the kids around. They hey, put their noses down. Give them and an apple or experience. a carrot. You're <laughs> golden, right? And, and our big kid at Channel Three, Scott Haney, actually got up on one of them a few years back, right? Yes, he got on Midnight at Clydesdale and um, donned a pretty helmet. <laughs> so Oktoberfest, this is a special event. Um, yes. Obviously, we've got some pints, we've got some horses, you got you got vendors, but this is uh, a big fundraising event for you, too. So, yes. uh, and a, money goes a long way. Hay, bales of hay, you need, uh, you know, material to keep the horses nice and warm for the winter, all those kinds of good things, right? Absolutely, and hay costs us at least $30,000 a year. Right. For the, you know, a large uh, draft horse can wow. eat a bale a day. Right. Wow. And some of the prices are up to $12 a bail now so um, and we have such like I said great volunteer medical care and we can offer some um really nice options for, for horses. But you make a good point that the cost of everything we all know is going up, including what you need to do. So we really need the community to kind of step up and rally around this event, right? We are an all-volunteer rescue. Mm -hmm. Every single penny goes to the horses. So um, whether you're supporting by buying retail, making a donation in person, online, um, everything goes to the horses. Are you ever looking for more volunteers? Always love volunteers. <laughs> and there are, it's a great group of volunteers. We have over 80 active volunteers, too, which is a great community as well. Yeah. Okay, so maybe the most important thing, Sarah, for people that are watching this and want to learn more about it and think about possibly coming, where can they find that information? We are very active on Facebook, and, we're, and our um, website is top-notch, too. So either one, or come Sunday and... and uh, Get, get it firsthand. Fantastic. And the website is? Um, ctdraftrescue.org. Oh, yeah, there yep. it is. Great. Yep, it. right on the screen. And all the information for Oktoberfest and the Open Barns, the 12th Annual Celebration and Fundraiser, uh, you're located at 113 Chestnut Hill Road in East Hampton. You've got food, hay rides, uh, farm tours, raffles, uh, oh gold, all the activities. Everything's f family fun, right? All family so fun. Much fun. Some great kids' activities, too. Yeah, I bet. And, and like you said, uh, Kids are great with the horses, so if you think that it's something that maybe you want to like ease them into, just take them. Just take them. Just it's take great. them. They'll love, love it. it. Family fun day at the farm. All right, Sarah, thank you so much. Hope every, you. hope you have a great turnout. Good luck and raise a lot of money. Thank you both for your time. Really Thanks appreciate again, it. Appreciate Absolutely. you being here. All right, Mark.